Well, I was curious yesterday whether um, my vlogging mirror would work on uh, my old gimbal to have a Nebula 4000. This is like a first generation gimbal. They're much better now. Um, but I figure if it can work on this, it can probably work on anything. And yesterday, um, well, I wasn't able to get the vlogging mirror as I had it yesterday um, to work on it because the back just came out a little bit too, too much. Um, but the other gimbal, I mean, sorry, the other vlog mirror that I have that just it goes on a pole, that actually worked pretty well. That worked fine. And that's in my kit that does allows you to fix the LCD screens and, and more advanced things. Uh, so yesterday I went back and I changed the design of the um, of my vlog mirror. Um, and so I, you know, I, I, I thinned this up. I thinned this part, brought it more forward. I rose this up a little bit. Um, so now... Uh, it will fit at least on a six three hundred with um you know it doesn't you know um go on the back i mean it doesn't hit the back of this thing it just barely doesn't hit the back of this thing um so i'm gonna i'm gonna do a little now to show you so i'm now uh vlogging on the a six three hundred um on the nebula four thousand gimbal with my newly modified vlogging mirror so it fits um, on the camera better with the with the gimbal because the gimbal has a you know the back motor um, plate thing so you can't really have something coming out far in the back of the camera um, so it just barely fits but I, I bet on other gimbals um, it, it would be there'd be no issues whatsoever not that this is actually an, an issue here right now so here you can see um I can see myself I can see the the face detection box moving around and now I'm going to now I can look at the back of the camera. I'm gonna move around, go to that teapot. Yeah, there we go. You can see the teapot. So I can see the screen both from the front and the back. And move it around. And so here I'm vlogging with the 4K with the Sony A6300 and a Nebula 4000 gimbal with my vlogging mirror so I can see that I'm properly framed. I, I walked around and, and the vlogging mirror fell off and the top part of the mirror broke, as you can see here. And you know, this is, <laughs> I know who wants to hear all this stuff, but building these gadgets is just um, so complicated, so many issues. So for instance, I did this because I'm like, why cut out two pieces? Just do one piece and a slide run on. And that is good, you know, at the corners rounded so you're not gonna cut yourself. But I think if it fell, if, this, if it fell in this configuration where I have the mirror um, glued on to the to the wood that it went to broken because the wood and you'll see yeah see the wood is will absorb the impact more and, and these pieces won't break off as easily so I should probably go back to this this build method even though it's um uh it's slower Whew. so anyway the, the bottom line is that um yes the new version of the the box version of the vlogging mirror will work on a gimbal um again it works on the nebula 4000 i'm virtually certain it'll work on any other very well because it's very light um and that's the whole thing in gimbals is, is the weight and you know once you cinch it up it, it doesn't move that's the other thing you don't want things moving on your camera and I think it's very hard to to rig up an hdmi monitor um on a gimbal so this is a great solution uh, alternative to using a gim uh, uh, HDMI monitor if you want to see yourself while you're uh, filming on the gimbal. Okay, some final thoughts. Um, so where am I? So when I thinned the uh, box version of the vlogging mirror uh, to fit on the A6300 on the Nebula 4000 gimbal, um, it worked very well at fit, um, but the problem is that the, the mirror fell off. <laughs> So let's go back to an early design. But anyway, this version works fine. Then I went and I checked how it worked on the Sony um, A7, because I think many people that will, would use this vlogging mirror would have both cameras. They might start out with an A6300, 6000, 6500, whatever, they're gonna wanna use multiple Sony cameras. And the problem with this is because the, the back is squished up a little bit for the narrower A6, the X63 uh, <laughs> line, um, it actually, you can't see the bottom now, the A7. So this vlogging mirror works great for that, but you really want the one that goes deeper for the A7 if you're not gonna put it on a gimbal. You know, so what do you do? Do you, do you create like, do I create five project 
uh, products on Amazon, you know, uh, one for the A7, one for the A6300, you know, one that you might just like this design better and works on, you know, C100 or something. So uh, I think uh, what all I can do for now is if when somebody orders it, that I ask them, you know, how are you going to use it? And I, I send them a design that works, works best. Um, and this is, you know, this is the other design where it just fits right over the, it's a different design. I've also have these um, other brackets uh, that you get with this model of the, uh, the vlogging mirror where it will go over the hot shoe and you can actually see the screen from the back if you have like a fixed screen like in a Nikon camera. Uh, so anyway, I just wanted to give you this, uh, the final update that yes, the vlogging mirrors now work on the gimbals now. Um, and uh, they are very easy to, I just want to show you again how easy it is to just take these apart for, you know, for storage. Um, just make sure, paying attention. So you can see, I mean, that fits, that fit in an envelope. Weighs nothing, takes no space. Um, is always on, unlike an HDMI monitor. This is always ready, so you can see yourself in front of the camera, or the subject can see you. Uh, again, you can get any of my gadgets on Amazon, and uh, thanks for watching.